My name is Danica, I'm a contributing editor at Book Riot, and today I want to talk about the comic new releases that are on my TBR. So by comics, I am just talking about the trades and graphic novels. I'm not reading issue by issue at the moment. And by new releases, I'm talking 2019-2020. The first one I'm going to talk about is Angel Volume 1, Being Human. This is the Boom reboot of the Angel series. This is actually the book that inspired this video because for some reason I have started getting a bunch of uns solicited comics from Simon & Schuster, which is amazing. I don't know how I got on this list, but I'm very happy to be on it. Even though I've been reviewing books online for almost 10 years now, I'm not used to getting unsolicited review copies, especially from big publishers. I live in Canada where it's very expensive to ship anything, so I don't get a lot of books in the mail unless I specifically request them. Aside from the novelty though, I was excited to see this come in because I have read the first volume of the Boom Buffy reboot. I am definitely a Buffy lover and it was a little bit weird to read the Boom reboot because they pull in characters from other seasons, it's set in our time, it's very different, and I feel like I'm still getting used to it. I'm going to keep reading the series, but it was a little bit hard to acclimate to the new series. I haven't watched a lot of Angel, and I actually didn't know it was going to be included in the Boom reboot as its own series, so I didn't know this existed, and I think because I have less of an emotional involvement in it, it'll be easier for me to get into the reboot version, so I am excited to see what this is like. In a similar vein, I also got sent Firefly the Sting. So this is about Firefly, which I also like, but it's just about the women in Firefly, so that's even better, and it's about a heist. So that is an amazing elevator pitch to me. It's about Saffron getting together all of the women on Firefly to try to pull off this diamond heist. And I'm sure you can't see it on camera, but the back has lettering just in glossy, clear letters. It looks really cool. So I love a heist story, I love all women heist stories, and these are women I'm already a fan of, so this will be exciting. So the rest of the books on this list I was not sent for review, they're just the 2019 and 2020 new releases that I have had my eye on. Let's stick with the big franchises for now and talk about Harley Quinn Breaking Glass by Mariko Tamaki. I will fully admit that I have not read a lot of superhero comics, including Batman comics. My partner is a huge fan and has a sleeve tattoo of all Batman characters characters, including Harley Quinn. Ever since Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy have become more canon in the Batman universe, I have, of course, become a lot more interested in this character. I also really like Mariko Tamaki as an author, so that's why I'm going to start here for my first Harley Quinn comic. This is about a teenage Harley Quinn living on the streets of Gotham City, where she is taken in by a drag queen named Mama, but they are dealing with a lot of gentrification in the city, and she has to choose how she's going to fight back. There is Ivy, who is campaigning for change, and and then there is the Joker who is taking down corporations. Obviously this is taking a lot of liberties with the characters, but because I don't have a lot of familiarity with them anyway, that's not going to matter to me. And I think I would be interested in this plot line even if it didn't have Harley Quinn in it, so I think this is a good place for me to start. Speaking of Mariko Tamaki, I have somehow still not read Laura Jean Keeps Breaking Up With Me. It was one of my most anticipated books of this year, but somehow even though I have taken out of the library, I haven't gotten around to actually reading it yet. This is a YA graphic novel about a toxic relationship between two girls. For some reason I keep picking up books about queer toxic relationships. I know why. I think it's an important topic that doesn't get covered enough and it's one that I have ample experience with, but reading these stories tends to be very painful. That probably explains why I haven't actually picked it up yet. So I expect that this will be a difficult read for me, but that it will also be really moving and memorable. I'm also interested in a book called Invisible Differences by Julie Deshay. This was originally published in French and the English translation is coming out in August. And this is a story about Marguerite who is diagnosed with Asperger's as an adult and that diagnosis really opens up her life and explains a lot of things and gives her a lot more possibilities. I love the art style which is mostly black and white with just these little pops of color. This is also an own voices story for Asperger's and I've been wanting to pick up more books like this because most of my knowledge about autism tends to be following people on Twitter and Tumblr, which is great, but I'd also like to pick up some books by autistic authors. Next is Everything is Beautiful and I'm Not Afraid by Yao Xiao. This is a comic I've seen some of on Autostraddle. It's about a young queer Chinese immigrant's experience in the US, about her trying to find a place in the world with her cultural identity as well as her queer identity. I really like the art style, which to me makes the main character look like a little gnome or like a 
the board game piece. There also seems to be this varied page layouts that can get quite abstract, so I'm really interested to see them all side by side in the collected version. A comic I have been eagerly awaiting is Stage Dreams by Melanie Gilman. Melanie Gilman is one of my favorite artists. I love As the Crow Flies, but also any of their daily comics and 24-hour comics and basically anything that they have ever written or drawn. If you're not familiar with Melanie Gilman, they use entirely pencil crowns in their illustrations and they are so detailed and beautiful. Stage Dreams is a queer western heist with Latina representation as well as trans representation and I will read anything that they write so I'm so excited to get my hands on this one. And then I've got four more that I actually know very little about but what I do know is enough to make me definitely want to read them. The first is Bloodlust and Bonnets by Emily McGovern. The author also did the webcomic My Life as a Background Slytherin which is very funny. This one was described in one review as a mad cat paranormal regency adventure. It has queer main characters and vampires and Lord Byron in it. This just looks really silly and fun and it's kind of giving me My Lady's Choosing vibes in playing off romance tropes and having that sense of humor with it. Then I've got Witchlight by Jesse Zabarski. This is a queer witches comic and I'm gonna be honest that's about all I know about it and that's all I need to know about it. Speaking of, I also have Mooncakes on my TBR and this is a, another queer witch comic and her non-binary werewolf crush. This looks super cute and fun and light. I actually meant to read it in October and was so busy that I forgot to get to it so I think I'll just read it outside of the Halloween season. And finally I have Cosmo Nights by Hannah Templer. I'm just gonna read the tagline. For this ragtag band of space gays, liberation means beating the patriarchy at its own game. The premise of this reminds me of Once in Future by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy, which I loved, and it is also kind of a neo-medieval world. Definitely has a lot of space gays, and that was one that I really loved, so I'm hoping that I will like this one just as much. So those are the 2019 and 2020 comics that I am most excited for. Obviously most of them are queer because I love reading queer books and especially queer comics. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these and what you thought of them, and let me know what's on your TBR, what are your comic new releases that you're most excited about and thank you for watching.